this 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 good? Okay. This is a second video on boiling water below atmospheric. We're going to take some temperatures and show you what we're doing here. Now in this bottle, we have uh, a nozzle which has been installed. Get a little close up there. That is basically a 1 8 inch nozzle. I'm using a syringe as a restrictor and that is just basically compression fit into this bottle where we've induced a vacuum. Um, please take a temperature of our condenser so that uh, so they can see you need to take a temperature right here up against the bottle please. Okay, what have we got? 110. Okay, and the water in the bottle? 112. Okay, and then the boiling bottle? 123. So we're boiling water once again at 123 and uh, we have we've basically induced the same system as we have on the first video where it was just a tube connecting the two bottles, the heat source and the heat sink. But to prove that we could pull this through a turbine, we have basically installed that nozzle or a restrictor. It's still boiling with uh, a small amount of, uh, uh, I guess it's slightly less than the first video, but not much. Um, uh, and surprisingly so, because we've We've actually restricted that down to one eighth of an inch from a uh, five eighths inch tube in the first video that was unrestricted. So we have uh, a greater differential once again, and that's what we're interested in is the differential pressure. So once again, what we're what we're doing here is we're actually uh, removing the heat out of the heat source at a very low temperature. Take uh, another shot at the temperature. Where are we at? This is an evaporational cooling process. 121. So we're down to 121 in our heat sink. 111. 111. Um, now in the room, uh, take one of the floor. What do we got? Uh, basically temperature in? 53. Okay, 53 degrees floor temperature. So we're probably uh, 63 degrees right now in uh, in here. Um, and. We're sustaining that boil. We're pulling out a substantial amount of heat at a, at a at a 1,150 BTUs is required, basically uh, latent heat or hidden heat, in order to convert one pound of water into one pound of water vapor or steam. And uh, it doesn't matter what temperature the steam is. We're still removing that uh, heat out of the heat source. And being able to do this below temperature means that anybody with a wood boiler or any source of heat, be it solar thermal um, or an outdoor wood boiler, which you can't pressurize and get steam, but you can certainly pull a vacuum and get steam, now all of a sudden you can actually run a uh, low pressure differential turbine and you will be able to convert any heat source, even a low heat source,